Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to showcase a new feature of Chai Builder, which will allow you to create your own predefined blocks and use them across multiple websites. So in this video, I will show you it in two parts. First, how to create a predefined block and then how to use it in your own, uh, own website. So let's get started. So first we will start with creating a new predefined block. To do that, go to my UI library link at the top. Uh, on this page, you will see two sections. One is published and another one is draft. So published will show you all of the blocks which are uh, available for you to use on your website. And draft will show the blocks which are currently under development. And once they are, uh, once you are done developing them, you can publish them and then they will start showing up here. So everything that's uh, under published, you can use it on your websites. So we will start by creating a new block for this demo. Uh, I'll just name it content. And next you need to select a group for this. So I will select content as a group. And once you create a new block, it will take you to the builder again. And in this, you can use the basic blocks to create uh, any kind of uh, any kind of predefined block. But for this demo purpose, I will uh, use the import HTML feature to quickly create a content block. Uh, I will use preline as an example for this. Uh, so this is one of the nice content snippet. I just copied it and i'm going back i'm importing it now so as you can see the uh, blog has now been imported inside the builder i will make some quick change to this this is my custom library block all right and once i'm done with these changes i will just save this and uh, I'll take a screenshot of this because I will need it to uh, publish this block. So I'll just uh, take a screenshot. Okay, so now the screenshot is ready. I will hit publish and I'll select the screenshot from the list. Uh, okay, so this is my custom UI library block. I have selected the image and now I'll hit publish. As you can see, the block is now available under published co published contents and it's available here. So this is the process to create a block. And if you don't want to publish it, you can keep it. It will show up inside draft. You can go back, edit it. And once you are done, you can publish the block. So let's move on to how to use this block on your website. So I'll go back to websites. I'll select any of the website. Now there is a slight change in the add blocks, uh, add new block panel. So I have added another uh, another section inside this where you can choose the library that you want to use. So by default, uh, Chai UI will be selected, which is the predefined blocks that are shipped with Chai Builder. And then there is another one, which is my UI library. So this is where you will find the blocks that you created. So I have created, uh, I had created few blocks uh, under hero. And this was the one that we created just now, which is content. So if you want to add it, the process is pretty standard. You just click on it and then the block is added to your page. As you can see, this was the block I had created earlier. So that's it guys. This was a simple process to create a block and then use the block inside your website. I hope you liked it and this feature is soon coming to Chai Studio and Chai Cloud. So stay tuned. Thank you.